of it. And again, that October thing may be impacted if we change our election date. But this is only a warrant article. This could be all, we could have that information. We vet it between now and October at a town meeting. This could be discussed on town meeting floor. Uh, I would propose going forward with that as well as uh, the town meeting procedures in terms of be, where the it warrant. It has to be in print tonight. It, it, I think there's unanimity in the first half of it. And if we're going to propose some legislation, you know. Warren. A question and a comment. Um, first question is, uh, based on the fact that a lot of this is driven by the, our ability to get our information from the state so that we can do our budget, what's the probability that it will continue to be that late coming? I think very history good. speaks yeah, for itself. Historically, well, well, I mean, history. there's a guy in the back. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it may be later, not earlier. Yes. It, yeah. I, December I, one year. I, yeah. okay. well, I, I've been an elected official since 1973. Well, it's not as moderator, and it's been Warren, I, I think the, uh, uh, you're right. Uh, if the economy was much better, we might end up with a, a warmer feeling that when the, the governor presents his budget, which comes out for us typically, that it might hold water. But we haven't been in that mode for several years. Well, even, and, even in that case. And we've always had the issue of being one of the towns with the earliest town meeting, and we've run into this issue. Well, my, so, my comment then would be um, that both, the, especially uh, the school department and perhaps the DPW, one of the things they put in this budget is their capital, capital improvements and the things that they need, and especially for the school department, anything they need to get done before the next school year that would begin to cut them very short in time. So I think they might want to be, I think it would be a good idea to involve them. I mean, Mike, I mean, to, that, so they might say, well, you know, maybe can we move it, you know, not quite that far out because, because we need to be able to make decisions on what we're going to do and how we're going to approach some of the items that we have in, that, that we have in our budget on a regular basis, as well as DPW, you know, we need to prepare for a winter season, and we need to know if we can have a truck or if we can do these things. So, so they might have a, uh, they might have some questions about how far out it gets pushed as well. That's all in October, though. Yeah, we're we'll talking about October, right? We're lined up with October. Yeah, we're talking because about because we haven't been able to firmly establish our budget, what free cash is going to be, and what available funds are going to be until after. The new fiscal year has begun. All in the April. Oh, no, 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 no. No. I haven't no. been for a long time. I haven't no. been for a while. Some things we've held off from October to April. From April to April. Yeah. Right, but yeah. capital letters like, are October. Look, guys, the, the way I see it, I, I, I tend to, you know, we've heard what Mike's concerns are. I think a lot of them are legitimate. Uh, I would like to get the date of town meeting in June moved. Uh, we can talk about, you know, I've raised the concern, I'm the one that's raised the concern about the election. Yeah, I agree with, you. with respect to a change, but I'm not. I, I don't want to scuttle moving that town meeting date over that. You know, I I just assume based on the suggestions that have made both by Steve and Mike that you know, let's let's move this yeah. move this thing. Put the make the change to the one thing that we're all. Do we have to vote? With. We vote. Do we have to vote the article as a whole, this board, or no, one uh, item, uh, item no, by item? No, the, the point. <laughs> no, that's right. We can do item by item, but I think that All in right. this particular case, it would one. not be a good idea to put an item on Section here one. that we're going to pass over Section because one, you know we get the town meeting, oh. and town meeting can say, "Oh, we don't want to pass it over," and then we may not be, you know, we may be caught. I just as soon have this article because it's so important, right? Have just specifically what we're willing to support, oh, printed in the war. Period. Uh, so uh, I would recommend to the board to move this thing on. Uh, that uh, we side with Mr. O'Leary's suggestion, change the date of uh, April town meeting to June, and uh, form a, a subcommittee uh, to work with the other departments and citizens of the town to come forth with a, a meaningful proposal for additional charter changes in a future town meeting. And I, I think that uh, at this point, that's the only thing we're going to be able to move this evening. Well, Mr. Chairman, I move that uh, 
you'll include in the uh, October 4th annual town meeting warrant an article to be numbered Article 10 uh, to include um, the description of the article as presented by the town administrator uh, down to number one. 2-41 town meeting procedures, delete first available Monday in April, insert in place there to first available Monday in June. Yes. And strike everything and strike else. Strike everything else. Uh, do we hear a second? Second. Motion made by Mr. O'Leary, second by Mr. Ewell. Ewell. <laughs> first time you're second tonight. Uh, further discussion? My only uh, added comment is I think we're missing an opportunity to save money for the town on an ongoing basis starting almost immediately. So uh, that's my only. Okay. All in comment. favor? Well, I, I have one oh, more. Oh, sorry. I, no, oh. Just one more comment. Do you, um, us as a board, do you not believe that we could pull together the necessary information so we can include the October town meeting change between now and October 4th? I mean, that doesn't seem like that big of a deal that we can't, between now and then, work with. Um, Barbara and her staff and, and have that so we can include that whole number one as written. I mean it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal to pull out the, all that together. Mr. Chair? Mr. Ewell. Yes, um, I think the point being made that vetting these items out and adding maybe some as we go along and trying to be as thorough as we possibly can is a very good idea. And I think that, Mike, when you thought about this and you felt that, you know, maybe we need to incorporate more input and and uh, and and think it out more. I think that's a great idea, and I think that's the approach that we should take. I think doing uh, uh, number one, uh, changing the uh, uh, meeting from April to June, is sufficient at this time. There's a lot of vetting that has to go on. Here we have a lot of people to talk to. It's really uh, uh, a process that needs to be in depth so that when we make the decision as we go forward next time we'll be confident with what we're, we're going forward with don't forget we, we also had on here that we we're going to do it you know within 10 years or uh, an outside time of 10 years at the most all right so so <laughs> at one point we're thinking about spreading it out and we weren't thinking and Bob I think you made this comment last week at the last meeting that we weren't looking to do this every year, even though we could review it every year, uh, of making a charter change. So uh, I think vetting this out as much as possible is the best thing for the community by incorporating every, everybody in it. And I would love to be on that subcommittee. Mr. Chair, just, just in relation to the October town meeting, day two, we're going to the third October, uh, third Monday in October. Um, if during the deliberations of the subcommittee, comes out that as Sean suggested maybe we should be looking at the November election coinciding it with the, uh, the state elections mm -hmm. uh, but again I think it's gonna be a little bit more of a problem with the primaries only because people from different parties but uh, nonpartisan elections when it comes to not nonpartisan but the, all the parties are on one ballot right, exactly you know, in the November uh, again the, uh, the time concern and we're, we're assuming that we can get through October town meeting in one or two nights that sometimes can be a poor assumption uh, and again you, then you start running into Town meeting being held, elections being held. Holidays. The night before an election is the Monday. Um, Thanks. A whole bunch of issues that the town clerk kind of pointed out, and I think is worth looking at, exploring, and then when we finally land on Fair it, the, the election date's going to be changed. Then it's going to be changed to some specific time without everything being considered. It's going to remain the same. It's going to remain the same. So I, I, I think there's still a lot, a lot more to look at in relation to the October town meeting. I agree to that. And, and again, as far as you know. Moving it out to June, we've been doing it for the last few years anyway, and elections have come and gone. Uh, on the motion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Motion recorded as four to one. Okay. The negative in the version. Town administrator almost had it all. <laughs> he did. I, I had three versions. He had three versions. <laughs> he almost had it right. North Reading Housing Close. Authority <laughs> extension. Close. Purchase uh, on Chestnut Street. They're requesting that we uh, continue that extension for another year, with the hopes of um, finding some. So if 
Uh, yeah, Mr. Chairman, they're still pursuing grant uh, applications, and they, they keep coming close to coming up a little bit short uh, in the last couple of uh, instances. And uh, they wish to continue to pursue uh, the grant monies, and I think we should provide them with that opportunity. I think uh, this board, as well as previous boards, have made a conscious decision to uh, make this land available to them. And I think it's a tremendous undertaking that they're trying to achieve here, and I think we should uh, continue to uh, stand with them in lockstep in our efforts to uh, create some more affordable housing. Uh, I would recommend that we, uh, we do it. Do we have a motion, Mr. Yes, sir. Frisco? Mr. Chairman, I move to grant a one-year extension until June 30th, 2011, to purchase and sale agreement between the town and the North Reading Housing Authority for approximately 10.55 acres of land located at 71R Chestnut Street and shown on Assessor's Map 56, Parcel 62, for the purposes of constructing affordable housing for persons age 62 and over. Second. Motion by Mr. Prisco, seconded by Mr. O'Leary. Discussion, Mr. The only issue I have is I'd be happy if it was a year, but according to part of the option and purchase agreement that we received under paragraph three, it only appears that they have three six month periods of extension that began on June 30th, 2009. So that would give us only one six month, if my math is right, one six month extension that's left under this option that we've been provided. So it's not a year. It doesn't appear to be a year unless there's other documentation that's out there that's amended this option. None. All right. Do we, uh, do we want to modify the motion to provide an additional time or extension to the agreement? That's fine. Right. I don't want to give them as much time as they, they have and need. Yeah. Uh, I think last year we did. Uh, uh, Isn't this the, uh, I see what you're saying is that it's, this has got to do with the purchaser? You know, it's tough to tell because we only have one page I, or two pages of it. It doesn't look like we have the whole document, so I don't know. No, I thought she was asking for two six-month periods when I, when I read this and I read that. Right, but if you look that's at That's why it's $20 she's giving us. If you look at the time period. frame, though, yeah, it's the first point. extension we would have had to act on by June 30, 2009. And we didn't so, do that? Well, we, we did no, one we prior extension, but we did. <clears throat> that would get us... Oh, okay, so that's two six-month periods there you're talking. So this would only leave us yeah. one. Okay. No, from June to 2010 is one six-month period. No, it's no. two. June no, 30th, 2009 to June 30th, 2010. Two. Oh, two I'm sorry, period. okay. Yeah, so yeah, I just... Yeah. And I think right. last... Right. Right. I'm going to January and then right. thinking it's running January to January. Right. I, I just... I want to give them as much time as they need to pull this off, but... I just want to be consistent with whatever agreement they've executed. I'm trying to think what the uh, the grant cycle is. Is it annual or is it semi-annual? It's semi-annual, right? Semi-annual? So. Unless there's another addendum to this option and purchase agreement that we don't have. No. Does that mean we have to execute a brand new agreement? Or a new addendum. Thing, right? It would just be an addendum. It was agreed by both parties. So perhaps we should table this well, until... Well, just modify that to, to uh, move that we... Uh, we'll just give them the six months. Yeah, no, that drew to an agreement uh, to modify uh, the original agreement, allowing uh, for... I, but just we could agree to modify it, but they have to agree. I mean, this is an agreement between two parties, right? right. So I would think that... The, the, the reply would go like this, is they'd be more than willing just to extend the, uh, the uh, extension dates to... Uh, additional two years, which would include from this past June 30th. Yeah, but we're uh, agreeing to provide an extension before well, what's the saying? document has been changed. What I'm, what I'm saying is in this motion, mm -hmm. include a, proposed, a proposal to uh, mm. attach an addendum to the original agreement, providing for okay, an extension language. of time okay. through June 30th, 2012, mm -hmm. and grant a one-year extension 
until June 30th, 2011. So they have to come back to us on an annual basis. 